Hello friends, welcome back. Today we are going to render with an if-else condition. Another application of using JavaScript to control your rendered view is to tie the elements that are rendered to a condition. When the condition is true, one view renders. When it's false, it's a different view. You can do this with a standard if-else statement in the render method of a React component. Cool, I'm going to stretch this out just so we see it a little bit better here. This is the render method, and so they're saying within the render method, before we return, we can make an if-else statement. So our code will go here. Uh, my component, which is my component is this whole component, contains a Boolean in its state, which tracks whether you want to display some element in the user interface or not. It contains a Boolean in its state. So in its state, it contains a Boolean. That Boolean is called uh, display. So this.state.display. The button toggle toggles the state of this value. Currently, it renders the same user interface every time. Rewrite render. So right now, it does the same thing all the time. So it just renders this, uh, it just renders this uh, code right here. Rewrite the render method with an if-else statement so that if display is true, you return the markup, the current markup. Otherwise, return the markup without the h1 element. You must write an if-else statement to pass the tests. Use the use of the ter ter ternary operator will not pass here. Okay. So, what we want to do is write an if statement, right? If, and then we want to say this.state.display, right? then we're going to say, so if that is equal to true, um, it's displayed. We want to have it say, we want to return this displayed thing. So I'm going to exit, I'm going to cut this, I'm going to uh, uh, paste it into here. Cool, so if this.state.display is equal to true, which is what it is right now because its default value is true, then we render display. Now we know if we click this button, this if we click this button, it's going to have an on click this dot toggle display, which means it's going to call this function, in which case it's going to set the state of display to whatever the display whatever the opposite of the display was. So if it were true, then it's going to be false, and if it were false, it's going to be true. This just means it's going to do the opposite of what it is now. Or at least that's how it works with Booleans. Um okay, so it, it returns this. If the display is true, then we return that. Let's say else if uh, this.state.display is equal to false, then we can return, still we want to return, we need to return a single div, right? A div. But within the div, we actually want to maintain the button, the exact same button. So we could do a button like this. Okay, so now if we t t click this multiple times, it's displaying and not displaying. So if it's true, it's rendering uh, displayed, and if it's not, it's rendering the button without the displayed there. And I think if we run the test, this should pass. Um, yeah. Let's see. I wonder if we could do... I don't want to go into extracting that. Obviously, we're duplicating the code here, so it'd be better if we could just have a JSX element Oh yeah, well, that's what we could do, is we could go, um, we could make a child component with the button, but let's not do that for now. Uh, one way that we could refactor this is, um, if statements don't actually need to say equal, equal, true. If you just make it like this, then this will say true. Um, this renders to true. And so we don't actually need to say equal, equal, true. So we could say that. We could also just say else if display, um, we could also just say else, right? We don't need to actually say what to do if it were false because it's only going to be either true or false. So this will still work. Um, so that would be one way to kind of refactor this code a little bit uh, because this is doing it the exact same way, but it's just a little bit cleaner. And uh, as you write code more and more, you'll be able to just read this and say, oh, okay, this is a Boolean. And then, okay, cool, it's rendering this. Um, if it's false, it's rendering, it's rendering this, just the button. Cool, got it. And so, yeah, that's how you would do this. And I would delete the, co the comment, and uh, I would consider this a solid answer. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this, and we'll see you in the next lesson.